everyone. After that fiasco we restream, I thought I'd do a little video while I'm outside. I'm on the top of the downs. I just got my shopping. We're just heading back home. I thought I'll walk down the hillside, then at the bottom I'll get the bus up. <laughs> yeah. There's the sea off in the distance, and that's the valley. You stay just about over there. And that's where all the horses are on that side. I don't know what he's doing with here. It looks like there's, um, there's actually nothing on the field. Maybe he's just letting it sort of let's settle and he'll probably plant something this year. They usually take a, a year off from planting so the ground gets a chance. Because soil quality and stuff is really poor. I've been getting planes all day. Just little ones, not big ones. Uh, let me tag a couple of people. Uh, my God, it's practically impossible. See, the, what they've done is, is all the friends list, all the friends lists, are huge now. Oh. They've changed everything to actually make the job of and letting people know is get notifications. It's still very poor. Oh. It's, uh, it's a little little wonder why people tend not to actually go live on Facebook because it's just not user friendly. But that space restream was a bit of a joke. They make the only copy and you've got to download your own videos. I didn't like that. Hi Liz, just a little walk on the downs. Whew. I'm a bit puffed out already. That's because I did a hell of a lot of cleaning in the flat. Listened to music while I was plodding about, but I thought I have to go and get some food at some point. And I've got the big carton of milk, plus the potatoes. I'm carrying them in my rucksack. The rest of stuff I'm just carrying on my arm. It's just light stuff, a couple of little treats for Roby. Yeah. It is lovely and it's nice today. And there's practically no wind, which is really helpful. But yeah, definitely the sun's gone down. It's over in the west, so it's just got to dip from now. And what will happen, come seven o'clock, it'll get really cold. I'm going to take a walk before then, but remember, the show will be eight o'clock tonight, the new time. Just been doing all my tidying up, getting ready to take all my, my PlayStation monitor back into the bedroom for the winter and do the shows obviously from the front room which gives me a bit more space to do things which I'm quite glad about but yeah always come the bad weather I always hibernate also I got a text today from the surgery saying that to go in and get a what do you call it a Blue jab. Right, so the cows are in that field there, so I'll walk down this one since it's free of cows. That's right, baby boy. That's it. Over on. Jenny long legs. Just get round the fence. That's it. Come on, mister. Here you come. Oh. Oh. I dropped the lead. Just make sure it's all closed up. Stay where you are, mister. Oi. And I said I fenced this off, so they're obviously wanting to keep the cows out of here. I suppose it's because all of the grass has been cut down, so they're 
they're just making their way down the field, which means they'll go to a different location. Usually by the winter, this is all nice and short. They might bring in um, sheep next. They're really jumpers. Woo. Yeah, so walk down the side of the park. I mean, it's a big park. I mean, it goes all the way down to the sea, especially over in that direction. It's just fields. And over the crest of the hill where the cows are is where the, the windmill is. Yes, yeah, so it's just a little leisurely walk. No, there's not so much I missed at the moment, but you usually sort of get them midday. Yeah. Our plane's been flying about all day up there. Keeps doing circles around Woodendine. I mean, it's the only things that's up there at the moment, isn't it? I don't think there's many flights taking off still. Especially with other parts of the country getting into lockdown. Thankfully, we're pretty good out here in, out here in Woodendine. Not many people come here, it's only locals. <laughs> but, oh. I sometimes got to watch myself coming down here because Oberon, because it's downhill, it always picks up speed. So usually he ends up leaving me down here. <laughs> hey, mister. But, yeah. Thank God there's no cows out here. I would crap myself if I've seen cows coming over. I was somehow trying to get over the fence. I don't trust cows. <laughs> but we're nearly at the bottom anyway. I to come out of the side of the park and get the number 22 back home. Depending upon how long the bus takes right enough. But I definitely will be waiting for it because I'm, I'm just about had enough exercise for one day. Just a little walk later on around the block. Maybe even sit in the secret garden tonight and have a cup of tea. But yeah, it's not as tiring going uphill. I mean, I contemplated going up the hill but I only had a two minute wait for the bus outside so I just thought I'll get the bus up and walk partial way back so he gets a chance to do his business he gets a good bit of exercise and then we could go home I didn't bring his extension lead I'm sounding out of breath a little bit but I'm at the bottom of the hill now and it, now it's just straight so I'll just regulate my, my walking and just walk a little bit slower now that I'm off the actual hill. Ooh, that was a difficult gate to open, but at least it closes straight away. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a little pug. See, there used to be a bin here, but some people would be going about setting fire to them. One used to be right there, but somebody set fire to it. That's happened quite a few times. So obviously the one over just at the top of Brown Leaf Lane was burnt a couple of months back. So there's somebody in Woodendine that's incredibly destructive. Yeah. Mr. Wiggle Bum. Yeah, he is a wiggler, isn't he? I thought I want to see if this little seat up here is empty. But as I can sit down for a couple of minutes. Come on, big bollocks. Come on. Somebody's having a right good shout. <laughs> it's just a little deck here just around the corner. No unless they've taken it out. No, it's there, thank God. Oh, I could take a break there then just walk the rest of the way over to the bus stop 
and I can walk him through the park and walk him through his little secret forested bit. What's that? I don't even know what that was here. I think I need to clean the inside of my iPhone. I think sometimes it triggers the, the player. And that's usually, usually down to um, Oh, oh a bit out of breath. Come on, mister. Yeah, I can sit down for a couple of minutes. Oh. And get the shopping. <laughs> yeah, there's the cows up there. Somebody walking their dogs. But anyway, we will be back at eight tonight. I'm going to take a break and maybe drink something just to wet my throat, then I'll head over to the bus stop we all be. But yeah, this is one of Oberon's favourite places. This is one of my favourite seats actually. Sometimes in the, the winter you don't get many people out here and then I'll let them off the lead for a little while because the, the traffic's dead but because there's both dogs here he'll just want to go around every dog that you can see and make pals. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. And I will speak to you all later. You take care, Liz. I'll give you a call later on. Right, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye for now. Obi. Oh, look at that.